In this video, we're going to repeat uh, the design process, except this time our goal is to build the design with T flip flops. If you go back to earlier design uh, process, uh, design uh, examples, you will see that we took this example where we are building a um, racetrack light control where a start button starts the sequence of lights from red to orange to yellow to green, each moving at five second intervals. <clears throat> and uh, anytime a um, start button is pressed, uh, we go back to red and start over again. So <clears throat> in, uh, same as before, step one to three in the design is gonna be exactly the same. We uh, take the design, turn it into a state diagram, which we did here to red. We, we figured out we have red, orange, yellow, and green, five seconds between them. Any From any um, state, you will jump to red if it's a one. If it's zero, every five seconds, you move through the different colors until you come to the red. When you are in red, I'm sorry, to green, when you come to the green, you just sit there until time to uh, go to red, meaning somebody pressed the start button. So um, then we made some assignment. We know there's four state, therefore two flip-flops. All we need, again, we are doing the full encoding uh, in this particular case. And then we made the assignment of red to uh, red, orange, and yellow, and green to the new um, state variables. And after that, we did the... Um, the um, um, state diagram could have putting the zeros and one giving ourselves a nice uh, legend so we can follow what's going on and then now now we are ready to go to step four and step four is going to be different depending on which flip-flop we are selecting and in this case we are being asked to use a t flip-flop up to now you've been doing D flip-flop, which is kind of nice because in D flip-flop excitation input D is exactly like the next state. In this case, you have to use this particular equation to relate next state, present state back to the T flip T. Because in the end of the day, if you want to do a schematic, you have to be able to um, you have to be able to write the expression for T in addition to the output and all that. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and um, use the work we've done already um, to figure out if we can do a present state next state. So, so far these were step one to three. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna start in step four and see how far we can get, okay? Let's, uh, I'm gonna expand this out until, so uh, the goal here is to do the present state next state in the hope of writing the equations for output and excitation input. And this time we have to use a T flip-flop. So same as before, we're gonna know we have two states, one, two, y, uh, y0, y1, y0, and the start, and then we have the next state, y1 plus, y0 plus. But in this case, we can't just say y1 plus and y0 plus is the same as, uh, T because T is different, so we have to give a column to T1 and another column to T0, followed by our all, out, all of our output, which is red, uh, orange, red, orange, yellow, and green. Okay, um, so what we're going to do, we're just simply going to fill this out with the information we have. All right, now we gotta find out if you are in state zero, zero, for example, if you're in state zero, zero, which is this state, the red state, what happens? Well, what is gonna happen is that if I have a zero, I'm gonna go to state one, so state one, and then also we know the output. The output in this state is gonna be one, zero, 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 and as we spoke before, this is a more, so the next state is going to have the next uh, line, which is going to have the same thing. And in this case, if, if it, you're in state 0, 0, and uh, if you're in state 0, 0, and you get, uh, you get the output of 1, you end up at 0, 0. And if you're in 0, 1, you get an input of uh, 0, you go to 1, 0. 
otherwise you go back to zero zero and in this particular case orange is going to be the output so and then uh, we go down to um, the next one almost the same thing happens if it's if you're in one zero you get a zero or go to one one again all we are doing is we're walking through uh, this uh, this uh, uh, state machine and we're just walking through as we had talked about it if you're in one zero you get a zero you go here if all other states go back to zero zero and the output in case of one zero zero is going to be yellow which is going to be zero zero one zero 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 oops that went too far down zero zero one zero and finally if you're in one one you get a zero you stay in one one otherwise you go to zero zero and again the output here is going to be basically green again as we did before the outputs are pretty simple we don't even need a kernel map to do them so those outputs are really easy we just look at these columns and we can write the red is equal to y1 y0 not uh, orange is y1 not y0 yellow is y1 y0 not and then of course the last one is green and green is y1 y0 okay now <clears throat> that i'm just looking over and writing the states as they are here okay these gets a little tricky because I want we, we need the next step for us is to write write t0 and t1 but before we can write it we have to know what the values are and the values are defined by exclusive oring next state with present state so for example for t1 goes from 0 to 0 so exclusive or would be a 0 for y0 goes from 0 to 1 so exclusive or is 1 does that make sense that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to write T, which is the next state exclusive old with present state. So the trick is to make sure we keep it straight. So let's go down Y1. Y1 is the same. So it's zero for this case. And this case becomes a one. And this case is a zero. And this case becomes a zero because you're going from state one, uh, one to one. And then one to zero is a one. One to one is a zero. And one to zero is a one great and then we go to t0 which now we're going to look at y0 0 to is 1 0 to 0 is 0 0 1 to 0 is changing so exclusive or is a 1 1 to 0 is changing exclusive or is 1 and, and 0 to 1 is changing exclusive or 0 to 0 is going to be 0 1 to 1 is going to be 0 1 to 0 is going to be 1 so that's our t so what we need to do now to write the uh, this these were the external output we took care of it now we got to look at this column and this column to be able to write the t i can't quite see what the minimum is so i would recommend at this point let's go ahead and do a Carnot map for this and we'll have y1 y0 s0 and 1 let's make it just a tad bigger so it's easier to see easier to see and there we have it okay zero 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 one 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 zero and uh, this is gonna be our t1 and that okay so then this is going to be t0 so all we're going to do we're going to go up here and we're going to read t1 for here and read t0 for here zero zero so we got zero zero one zero zero one zero one those are both the same okay then we come to t0 we've got one zero one one zero zero and then zero oh where'd they go where did I, go? I think i missed something so one zero one 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 zero and so four is one zero and then the last bit is zero one 
Okay. So hopefully I got that right. Um, and this is a little trickier to do. It's got lots of terms. Uh, let's go over here. It's a little simpler. We've got this guy and we've got this guy by itself. So T1 can be simply written as Y1 naught and Y0 and S naught or the second term. The second term would be um, the second term would be um, these two together, which is Y one S. All right, we go over here. This is a little trickier. So these two go together. Um, I believe this was a one. This goes together, and this goes together. Actually, this this one is a optional one, so we don't have to write it. So we write this. Write actually, yeah. And then you have these covering each other. So those def I definitely have to write that because that's it's essential, the only one covering this. So it's going to be Y0 not S0 not. Oh, no, there's no S0, S not, just one. Okay, so that takes care of this and this. So now what's the best? Well, that really doesn't matter. So I can I have many options to you. I can use this, this. That. So let's, and this is another essential, so let's go ahead and write that one too. It's going to be Y1 ended with S, or, or what we're going to do is we've covered those. So these are, this is the only one, well, this is the only one that hasn't been covered, so we have a couple of options. Let's just write one Y1 not Y0. Okay, great. So we pretty much got everything here. Is it? It's gonna be a little, maybe a little bit messy to draw it, but I will we'll take a crack at it and see how far we get. So, so let's go ahead and do the the schematic. So we got two T flip flop. We got a T flip flop here. So T one again. Clock and all that is not shown here. It's assumed that it's coming. It's you know you have a five second clock running, and then. And then a T1 over here. So this is my two flip-flops with two uh, state variables. And then um, what I'm gonna do is um, try to see what's the best way to do that. We got S coming in here. So let's go ahead and just run S through. And then we're gonna have S naught over here running through as well. And uh, maybe the easiest thing would be to take, uh, I'm gonna need a Y1 and a Y1 naught. So let's go ahead and maybe take Y1 here and run it this way if you need it. And then we'll take a Y naught and run it this way as well. Okay, so we got Y1 running out of room on the top. So we just, let's run the Y0. Do I need, so we're going to have Y0 kind of go both ways because we probably need it both ways. And then uh, we'll have it also negated going one way. Okay. So let's, let's, see, let's, see, let's see if we can make this whole thing work in half a decent way. T1, T0 needs Y0. Um, I need Y0 and Y0 not. So that's going to be lots of terms. So I got to make three ends. So I've got one, two, and three. And these three ends got to be or together. And that's my T0. So what goes in here? Well, a Y0 goes here, Y0 not. And then S0 not. That's the first term. The second term is Y1. Y1 is here. And then S, S is um, right here. And then Y1 not and Y1. Now, uh, I'm sorry, Y0. And this is Y0 if you see it. So there is my Y0. And I need a Y1 not. And here is my Y1 not. There we go. Got that one done. 
That was a little bit of a struggle, but we got it done. Okay, so now we've got y0, we've got y1, y1 not, y1 not, and then s not. So that's the first term. I think we got the first term nailed. And then we need y1. Where is y1? y1 comes down here. I think we've just gotten okay. Well, it's going to be a little bit messy. So we got y1, and then we need s somewhere in here too. So let's go ahead and pull s without touching anything else. There we go. Okay, that's ended. It comes up. Ors. And there we have it. So we have t1. And then the next thing we need to build is um, all this red, green, all the external output. So let's let's see if we can get that done somewhat cleanly as well. All right, so we've got everything here. Should be okay. And let's, uh, we'll build it up higher, okay? So we're gonna start with the red. Red is, okay, red is this, this is Y1 naught. And this one is y0 not. So I got my red done. Now I gotta do the orange. Orange is y1 not. So here is y1 not. I just need a y1, a y0. And here is my y0. And there is my orange. Okay. Yellow, yellow, I need Y1. Here's my Y1. And I need Y0 not. So here is my yellow. And finally, I need my, here is Y1. Ended with Y1. There was y0 and this is y1, and here is my, what is left, green. Not pretty, but uh, here are my external outputs. Here are all the excitation input buildups, and there is the circuit. As you notice, this portion really doesn't matter what flip-flop you're using. Always this portion will stay the same, and this is the place where things will start to change as you move forward. And you can use these equation to relate uh, relate the next state to whatever uh, whatever um, um, excitation input you need to create. That brings us to the end of this uh, video.